Here's just a quick video on how to test and verify the voltages on your ColecoVision power supply. Now this is in reference to the original big brick unit. So to do this, you're going to need a good multimeter. So I've got mine here. Let me go ahead and get this uh, extended up so that we might be able to read it better. There we go. And of course we have to have the ColecoVision power cord itself. I do have it plugged into my AC outlet. Turn your, volt, turn your multimeter to the DC reading range right here, which is where I've got mine sitting right now. And then what you're going to do is you're going to take the negative black probe, and it's going to go into the ground or common lead, which is this pin right here. So I'm just going to jam it in there like that. I'm going to take the red probe, and I'm going to check the positive 5 volts, which is the next pin to the opposite side on the plug. And you'll see that when I connect that in there, <clears throat> I am reading at right at 5.09 volts. The one just next to it and just below is your negative five. So on this one, it's reading about, what is that? About to negative 498, 499, it's about right. And then the last one, which is directly below and just to the right of where the ground is, is gonna be your positive 12 volt reading. And I'm reading about 12.3 volts off of this power supply. Now, this is all very normal stuff. There's actually a transformer inside of the uh, ColecoVision power supply, which is why it's such a big brick unit. But uh, yeah, that's a good quick way of uh, checking the voltages. Just be careful, especially when checking this 12 volts, that uh, you don't uh, short out the, par the uh, probes because they're, they're fairly close in proximity. But uh, hope that helps.